Hello, this is Scott of Scott's Computer Repair. Welcome to another one of my factory reset videos. I haven't done a video for a long time for this, so it's been a while. I know that. Uh, just finally came across a laptop I don't have on my on my YouTube channel. Uh, this basically is going to be a factory reset for our S Samsung laptop. For it is going to probably work on most of the Samsung laptop with Windows 8. Uh, this model of this laptop is the NP300E5C. Um, I recommend you do before you do this. Perform if you can. Back up your files, like your pictures, your documents, stuff like that. But if you uh, programs, you're gonna have to reinstall drivers for your printer, stuff like that. You're gonna have to redo all that again. I'll let you know. But make sure you back up your pictures and your documents. If you got the room, go ahead and back up your music and movies if you have the space. Um, okay, basically. Uh, it's a work with most Samsung laptops. All right. Uh, basically, make sure you have your power cord plugged in, and you're all, and because you can't do it without the power cord. If you have it without the power cord, and and it shuts off in the middle of the factory reset, you're totally screwed. You have to restart all over again, or you mess up something terrible, and you have to take it into an actual technician. Uh, so this is that's up to you <laughs> at this point. All right. I'm gonna get started. First thing you get first after that, this should take should take care of your like your uh, if you ever locked out your password or like that. This will take care of that problem. Or if you have any performance issues or a virus, it will clear it all out for you. This this factory resets. So um, as I said, recommend if you can back up your pictures or documents. All right, let's get this uh, this uh, party started. All right, as I said, make sure your power cord is plugged in. All right. All right, go ahead, turn your left. As soon as you turn your laptop on, go ahead and start tapping F4 till you see the Samsung logo comes up. And just stop. The recovery process should start here. Okay, once this comes up, there's basically just tells you there are no drives available for backup. Please connect to external storage drive devices to sufficient space or try again. Basically, what it's saying is not because you don't have a hard drive or anything. It's basically they're asking like an external hard drive or a flash drive that like can back up your information. You could do it that way if you want to, if you're preferably. But if you don't want it, you don't worry, have to worry about that. If you already performed that, you shouldn't have to worry about this. All you have to do is click OK. Then you want to go to the top over here and click Recover. Then I basically, you don't need to change any settings in here or nothing like that. All you got to do is just leave it the way it is and just click Recover. This basically will tell you what's going to happen. Start reco uh, recovery. All content of Drive C will be deleted. That means all your pictures, all your documents, anything important, important or anything not important will be lost. But this will reinstall Windows 8 back on your laptop again. Everything will be back to, like when you first bought it. All right, and just click yes. And the process has started. Okay, as soon as this comes up, recovery is complete and the system will restart. The system will begin initial recovery after rebooting. Do you do not force the system to shut down? If, if any, may uh, take 10 minutes or more, depending on the model. Just click OK. All right. When you get to this point, you want to select your language. Go. I'm um, English, of course, and just click next. Make sure that all this is correct. Your keyboard out and your language and all that. So just after that, just click next.
Go ahead and click the I accept the uh, license terms and click accept. Just choose your color of your background of your choosing. Name your computer or something. Like, well, I'm going to call it Samsung. And after that, just click next. Go ahead and click use express settings. All right, go ahead and type it in your name of your choosing of your computer. So this is a customer's laptop. Okay, we'll type it owner. And after that, just click finish. You don't need the password, it's not required. Okay. All right. That's how you perform a factory reset on this Samsung laptop. And basically, it. Um, yeah, make sure you run all your updates based on how to and everything else. Make sure it's currently updated and whatever you got to do. You can go on your system settings for that. Okay, that's how you perform a factory reset on the Samsung laptop. Okay, um, make sure you run your updates, of course, if you can, uh, or you want to go ahead and upgrade to Windows 10. I'm going to do my next video of this same laptop of uh, Windows 10. All right, basically this is it. Uh, that's how you factory reset the Samsung laptop. Uh, if you got any questions, just please uh, uh, <clears throat> ask below. Leave a comment below, and I'll try to try get back to you as soon as possible on that. All right, I appreciate you. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Um, and have a good day.